To better understand this planet Earth, there are various things we can do. We can wander through the bush making notes about the things that we're observing. We can also collect specimens, rocks, minerals, plants, animals, whatever we happen to be interested in. But to make this observation even more effective, we can add something to it, remote sensing. Remote sensing simply means seeing things from the distance. You can use binoculars or a telescope or a camera with a telephoto lens. With this camera, I can bring that distant mountain range six times closer. I can take a photograph and then take it away and analyze it. Well, over 100 years ago, an important step forward was made in remote sensing. A French photographer went up in a hot air balloon, flew over Paris and took a photograph of the city. The world's first aerial photograph. Ever since then, aerial photography has been an important part of remote sensing. An even more important step forward occurred about 15 years ago when satellites were sent up to orbit the Earth, making continuous pictures of the ground and the oceans below. You may have heard of the Landsat satellites. Well, if you wanted to make a receiving station to pull down those images from the satellites and process them, record them, where would you put it in Australia? What spot in Australia might best be able to see the satellite wherever it is? Right in the middle of the continent. And in fact, just outside of Alice Springs, which is a town in the very centre of Australia, is the Australian Landsat Station. And it has a giant parabolic reflector. So the radio signals are collected by that parabolic reflector, 9.1 metres across, concentrated in that little collector in the centre, and then sent to the station next door. In fact, the whole dish is controlled from that building. We can make the satellite dish rotate in a horizontal plane by turning this knob here. It's now going clockwise, or turning it in the opposite direction. Now it's going counterclockwise. Or with this knob, we can make the dish go up or down. And of course, if we're trying to lock onto the satellite as it appears over the horizon, we may need to rotate both the horizontal and the vertical knobs at the same time. Once you've locked onto the satellite, the whole system takes over and continues to track that satellite automatically as it goes across the sky. The satellite is travelling in a polar orbit. It's going from north to south as the Earth underneath goes from west to east. So you get a series of sweeps across Australia. They're almost vertical but not quite, slightly diagonal. We're here in the middle of Australia at Alice Springs and we're about to look at a sweep coming down the east coast of Australia. The radio signal will be received by that rack of equipment there and then cleaned up by the next rack and recorded on computer tape over there. It's almost 8.32 a.m. local time, the time when Warren Cerrone and Alex Smith have to start tracking Landsat 5. Stradbroke Island, this is the Brisbane River, this is the Brisbane metropolitan area there, this is the Gold Coast area down here, this will be the Tweed River, from there to there is roughly 180 kilometres wide, all of this is cloud, the satellite it cannot penetrate cloud so what it's seeing is, is the top of the cloud, it, wherever cloud appears it, it, uh, we can't see the ground. This area there is, is Sydney, and I, I'd say we're basically clouded out over Sydney. This is the east coast of Tasmania. These are showing a number of little islands off the mainland, there and there. And that's, that's the last bit of land we'll see now. It's due to switch off in about another minute. This is Landsat 5, day 351, 1987, path 105, orbit 20174, recorded on DAF 0. Now this is just one picture coming down from Landsat. It's been frozen and enlarged, so it's about 20 kilometres across the screen. This is the Brisbane area here, you can see the Brisbane River quite clearly. 
Brisbane Airport over there. Some of the runways can be picked out. This is Moreton Bay out here, and that's a reservoir. And these are all the suburbs of Brisbane. So you can see quite a lot more detail when the picture's enlarged this way. Now all of the information from that track of Landsat 5 has been recorded on this computer tape and it's now ready to be sent by air freight to Canberra to the data processing facility. And in Canberra the information is processed and made available to anyone in Australia who needs it. Remote sensing is useful to people involved in oil and mineral exploration, farming, agriculture, fisheries, management of bushfires and a whole host of other areas. Remote sensing is certainly helping us to better understand and manage the Earth's resources. Thank you.